Hello there, I am Cassiani, another graduate student of the language course with focus on Portuguese, English and Literatures from Universidade Federal Rural do Rio de Janeiro. I am going to talk about a short story named Weekend, which was written by Faye Weldon. This video was created as an activity required at the course of English Literature 2. The short story named Weekend, written by Faye Weldon, presents a family constituted by five people. Martha, a 38 years old mother and wife that also works. Martin, Martha's husband and father of her kids. And their three children, Jolian, Jenny and Jasper. Martha is responsible for taking care of the kids of the house and for pleasing her husband. Martin is the kind of man that only works and is seen as the central and authoritative figure of the house. The story talks about a weekend trip that the family takes to their cottage. They receive Martin's friends as visitors and as the plot evolves, the reader gets to see how Martha is in a position where her husband controls her money, her actions, her behavior and so on. We get to see how gender roles from the past centuries are played as the woman is overwhelmed with all the domestic doings, while the man is someone to be served and pleased, as well as his guests. The friends that come to the cottage are Colin and Katie, and then Barry Lelder and Harry. Colin is Martin's best friend who is dating Katie, his former secretary for whom he left his ex-wife and their kids. Throughout the story, Martha is constantly compared to Katie, who is a sexy and younger woman with no children, and by whom Colin and Martin are fascinated, as we can see in the following passage, where Martha is compared to Katie. She is running around in her nighty. Now, if that had been Katie, but the skimpy nighty and the broad rump and the 38 ears are all rather embarrassing. Martha can see it in Colin and Katie's eyes. Martin's too. Beryl and Harry are also a couple of friends that visit the family. They appear later in the story. And the way Beryl is described leads us to think that such as Martha, she is submissive to her drunk husband and seems to be even older and out of the beauty pattern than Martha is, as we can see in the following passages. Mary's mouth was open, and she had a lot of feelings, and her ankles were thick, and her waist was going, and she didn't look after herself. Beryl woke with a start and nagged her husband into going home, which he clearly didn't want to do, so didn't. In the narrative, the characters are all presented in the third person. It is possible to recognize a narrator who is stated outside the story, and although he seems to be an omniscient being, he does not interfere much in the development of the plot, as the characters' feelings and emotions are what leads us to interpret the facts and not the narrator's impressions. We can perceive a critical tone towards Martin in the story, but that is developed implicitly in the and the narrator does not express his thoughts on what happens, as we can see in a very intriguing passage where we see that the man makes his wife know that he thinks the woman who cleans their house does not do well her job. Martha, said Martin, tonight. You ought to get Mrs. Holder to do more. She takes advantage of you. She was over 70. She charged two pounds an hour. Martha paid her out of her one of her own wages. In the story, the reader can notice how it is represented the issue of gender rules that have been dictating women and men's behaviors throughout the passage of time. It has a critical tone, for it shows 
how women have been depreciated and controlled by the ideas of by the ideals of a sexist society. Janet was rather like Martha, quieter and duller than her husband, a nag and a drag. What is more interesting about this production is that it shows that even though women were supposed to take care of family and to serve to their husbands, responsible for financially supporting the family, it is also expected from them to be polite, beautiful, attractive, and to demonstrate that they enjoy life. It shows that women are not the owners of themselves. The running of the house was Martha's concern. Martin can't bear bad temper. Martin likes slim ladies. Martin admires slim legs and big bosoms. How to achieve them both? Impossible. But try, oh try, to be what you ought to be, not what you are, inside and out. A very ironic aspect of the plot that caught my attention is that Katie, Colin's girlfriend was deeply admired and adored by her boyfriend and by Martin, for she was really different from Martha, as she was younger, she did not she did not have any kids, and she did not get involved with housekeeping tasks, as the story says that Katie was languid, beautiful and elegant. She drawled when she spoke, her hands were expressive. Her feet were little and female. She had no children. It shows that even when women embrace the tasks and the behaviors that are expected for them to assume, nothing guarantees that they are going to be respected, as women have been objectified and seen as subordinate, inferior people who do not belong to the public sphere of social life. What I liked most about this text is that it shows the harsh reality of many women, not only those who lived in the past centuries, but also those that shared this one with us, what makes it an important tool to provide discussions on the subject of feminism, for example, making it possible for us to look closer to people around us, observing their interpersonal and familiar relations in order to comprehend how the dominance over the female gender occurs and to come up with ideas or actions trying to change it, even though little by little. In the manner of the structure, it is a pleasant thing to read a text that does not bring too much information, neither immerses the reader in the character's mind or feelings, allowing us to focus on or to think critically about the subjects that are treated, but without missing the aesthetic effect that usually comes with literary productions. Well, that was my analysis on the short story. Thank you for watching till here and I hope you liked it. Goodbye.